Holy Wire mod. Holy Wire mod here, and this is going to be the sixth Lua tutorial where we're going to be covering the basics of swept, which is the same thing as custom weapons in Gary's mod. So I figured this would be a good point as we just went over how to give your player weapons. Now let's see how to actually create the weapons themselves. So we'll start by going into the game modes folder, and I want you to actually take quick note of base game mode because in here you have an entities folder and then a weapons folder with weapon base in here. So we're going to be basing off uh, all of our swept off of this right here. Alright, so notice that file path. Well, in our game mode, there's entities folder. We need to create the weapons folder. And then in here, we're going to create a new weapon. So the weapon is going to be called weapon underscore example. And now we can put weapon underscore example in here and it will give the player the example weapon but for at this point uh, we're gonna wait on that so anyway let's go in here and we're gonna create a new weapon so we'll do that by saying text document and we can say weapon example Lua all right and we're gonna bring that into here and the first thing you need, which is very important, is add CS Lua file, which we went over a couple videos ago. And then the next thing you need is swept dot, and we're going to be doing a lot of these swept dots, so I'm just going to control and control D it until I get a bunch of these guys. All right. So we're going to put author, we're gonna tab it out, and we'll say the author is your name here, so holding fire mod. And then right here we're gonna have the base. So what's the base for our weapon? And we already went over that. It is weapon underscore base. Then right here, got print name. That's going to be the weapon's in-game name. So we're gonna say let's make a revolver. And then here it's gonna have the instructions. So we'll say actually we'll use double brackets which is cool because when you press enter in the double brackets it also makes an enter or a uh, return in the um, in-game version or variant wherever the text is so we'll say left click that does this and right click of course it does that all right so left click does this and right click does that simple enough all right, now let's go into the actual looks of the guns. We'll say view model, and that's going to be what you see when you're looking at the gun first person. See the 357 dot model. That's going to be the one we're using. There's other view models online if you wish to look them up. Then you have view model flip. So do we want this model on the other side of the screen? So say no. Are we going to use hands? Yes, it's going to look weird if we don't use hands. So we're going to do that. Unless you don't want to use hands and you want to be weird, that's okay too. World model. And this model is also available online. Okay. And what's the whole type of the weapon? Well, we're going to put that as a pistol. Hold types are also online. Alright, so how about the weight of the gun? We'll put that as 5 units. Will we auto switch to this gun? Permit it, yes. Now auto switch from. Say false. Unless you want it to. Again, this is your gun what slot or HUD slot is it going to be? There's six slots at the top by default. So we're going to put it in the first or the second slot, which is represented by a one. All right. The first slot, of course, being represented by zero. Now, what position on the slot? If we put zero, that's the lowest. It'll be at the top of the uh, gun list in that slot. Or we can put like some ridiculously big and it'll always be on the bottom. So I want it on top. Yeah, you can take that out of context if you want. But anyway, swept draw ammo. 
Are we going to draw some ammo? No, not going to draw some ammo. And I'm going to need a couple more of these. Not that many. All right. So then I'm going to put draw crosshair. So do we want a crosshair drawn? And say true because I like crosshairs. I don't know about you. Is the weapon spawnable by anybody? So you can say true. Or if you want to make it more admin specific, admin spawnable. So we can say no, you admins can't have it. That's all right. We'll give it to them anyway. They're sometimes good guys. So right here we're going to be doing a bunch of things related to the primary of the weapon. So we'll say primary, and then I'm going to need a bunch of these. So control D away. So what's the clip size of the primary? Wish they put magazine size because it's not a clip, it's a magazine. All right, enough ranting. The default clip, you can have six. All right, now the primary ammo that it's going to use, well, we're going to have it use 357 ammo. Is it automatic? I wish. So recoil, zero. You're going to make it really good aim. Damage, 1000. Now, number of shots that come out of it. Put one shot. Look, unless we're making a shotgun, you don't really need to mess with that one got spread. Now we're going to make it a very unrealistically accurate gun. Unless you want a little bit more accuracy um, to what it might be. But I really don't care about all that just yet. Delay. How much time will it take for you to fire the next shot? Put one second. And right here, we are going to be if need be, just showing you how to do it, because I'm not really going to do it on this gun, how to do a bunch of secondary things as well. So, say clip size. If we're not going to have a secondary, we'll put negative one. Default clip. Negative one. Ammo type. None. Ammo types are online, by the way. Automatic. False and it's actually a universal one. Sh should have gone on top, but oh well. Should drop on die. And we'll put true. So every time you die, you drop it. Alright, so that's going to cover all the basics. And from this point, I'm going to be stemming off to two different paths. One is going to be doing this method with a gun or a ranged weapon and the second one's going to be doing it with a melee weapon like a knife or a crowbar or something like that so i will catch you guys in the next video and i'll see